Good morning. Today is May 1st, the Friday of the third week of Easter. This month is offer for the souls of Socorro Cruz and Frank Grasminski. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to oh, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, <coughs> that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we who have come to know the grace of the Lord's resurrection may, through the love of the Spirit, ourselves rise to newness of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, that if he should find any men or women who belonged to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard the voice, but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he answered, here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, get up and go to the street called Straight and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying, and in a vision, he has seen a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him, that he might regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man, what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priests to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel. And I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. Laying his hands on him, he said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me 
Jesus, who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, things like scales fell, fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized, and when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus, and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues that he is the Son of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go, Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go, Go out to all the world, world, world and tell, tell the, the good news. news. For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him says the Lord Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. the Lord be with you and with your spirit. spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John glory to you Lord the Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and stayed died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. One day, children were praying in front of their house. They saw their grandmother sitting on chair praying the rosary. And one of them asked his brother, What is our grandmother doing? And his brother answered, She is praying for all of us. It is true that we often see our elders praying the rosary. They are praying for their children for their grandchildren and great-grandchildren. They gave us a good example of how we should give time for prayer and rosary and responsibility to one another. But the praying the rosary is not only for elder people. The children at Fatima in 1917, the Lucia, Jacinda Francisco, they pray rosary every day, and Blessed Virgin Mary came to them. They all became saints through the power of the intercession of our Blessed Mother. The man of May is the man of our Blessed Mother. We are reminded to say the rosary every day at home, alone or with the family. You know the very famous saying, the family that prays together stays together. 
we cannot underestimate the power of prayer. St. Stephen prayed for all his persecutors. One of them was Saul. In today's past reading, we heard the compassion of Saul. After encountering with Jesus Christ, he became a new man, St. Paul, the great missionaries throughout the world. Jesus said to him, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. He identified himself with all the sufferings. For Christians, it reminds us the solidarity of the human race. Not only the persecuted Christians in any part of the world, but the suffering, the sick people of coronavirus, those who are struggling because of poverty, disability, all are members of one body. And we are responsible for one another. And why we are praying during this month the rosary, let us pray for all of them. And as we give the respect and honor to the Eucharist, we all are one body in the Eucharist, so we give respect and honor to our neighbors. In today's Gospel, Jesus tells us, whoever eat this bread and drink my blood will have eternal life. We are centered on the Eucharist. Our life is sacramental life. Uh, Eucharist is the source and summit of our life. It nourishes us every week, every Sunday. So let us pray during these difficult times that we may be able to come back to church quickly, receiving the sacrament that nourishes us, which is the essential for our spiritual life. And let us pray also for the wisdom and guidance of the Holy Spirit, how to proceed with safety and receive the sacrament very soon. God bless you. We have renewed our faith in the one who has the words of life and is the bread of life. With complete confidence, we now pray. For all church leaders, may they be strengthened in their faith in Jesus, the Holy One of God. We pray to the Lord. For our nation and state and local leaders, may they be guided by our nation's conviction that in God we trust. We pray to the Lord, 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 Lord hear our prayer. for this faith community that our weekly and daily Amen depend our commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ, who is really present in the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord, 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 Lord hear our prayer. for the director, teachers, and students of our religious education programs. May their study increase their faith, hope, and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord hear our prayer. For the evidence of war, violence, addiction, and oppression, may their wounds be healed and their lives renewed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the dying and for those who have recently died, especially Socorro Cruz and Frank Krasiminski, for whom this Mass is being offered, that dead before them their joyful entrance into life everlasting. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intention we present to our Lord in the silence of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty and merciful God, source of all life, health, and healing, low with compassion on our wall, brought low by the seas, protect us in the midst of the great challenges that assail us. And in your fatherly providence, grant recovery to the stricken, strength to those who care for them, and success to those working to eradicate this couch. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Bless our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless our you, Lord God of all creation, for through you are goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and walk of human hands. It will begin our spiritual drink. Bless Bless Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praises and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial bitten or who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with basket joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim we your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quest to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the signs of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those God to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. and at our spiritual communion. My Jesus, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, since I cannot Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. Unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God with your lives. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.